Hi, hi guys. So this is my daughter Ava and she has natural hair. And to be honest, in the past few weeks, maybe months, I think I haven't been giving her hair enough love and attention and I think her hair is beginning to get damaged. So today I decided to give her hair some loving. I'm going to be detangling and washing her hair. I'm also going to be doing a protein treatment on her hair. And then after that, I'm going to style her hair so that we can go for a birthday party yay so these are the products that i'm going to use to detangle her hair i have this spray bottle that i got from amazon it's a mist spray bottle um, i love it so much because of how it sprays and then i use this Cantu kids conditioning detangler i've used it for years i use it for all my kids and i absolutely love it i'm also going to be using this denman brush i bought this brush on amazon as well i'm also going to be using this detangling brush this white tooth comb i'm also going to be using this metal tail comb i absolutely love metal tail combs especially on natural hair so yeah i'm just taking down the elastic ties these ties can actually cut your child's hair so you have to be really careful with it i have to spray the hair very well with water before i take out the ties sometimes i just cut the ties i don't even want to try and drag it i just cut it off and call it a day i have a lot of them so i don't feel bad actually cutting anyone i rather cut it than cut my child's hair so yeah i have to spray the hair very well one thing you need to be mindful of when making kids hair you have to be very very gentle please do not pull too hard on your kids hair they have really tender scalp so watch out for your child's expression you can see my baby girl is laughing and smiling that's because i'm not pulling too hard on her hair whenever i notice that her face is beginning to change i ask her is the hair paining you and if she says yes then i know that i have to be more gentle okay so yeah let's just do a little bit of lens check um, this is where her hair is right now i feel like the hair is supposed to be longer but i'm okay with it i'm really more about the health of her hair than the length of her hair you can see that her hair actually needs trimming but the next time i wash her hair i'm going to make sure i trim the hair really well so yeah i'm just going in with water and my white tooth comb to try and just loosen up the hair a bit mind you i am not pulling the comb completely through her hair i am just using it to raise up the roots please do not snag your kid's hair by dragging a comb through it it's very painful please okay so for the detangling i'm just going to put the detangler spray but i do more of finger detangling i use my hands to feel her hair and to feel all the knots and i just gently you know remove all the knots and pass my fingers through her hair trust me you can do a lot with just your fingers before you go in with a brush so now i'm going in with a denman brush just to make sure that the hair is all pulled up and also um, well detangled and yeah and you can also see while i'm using the denman brush i brush it against my hand it helps prevent the brush from dragging and cutting her hair that is why i brush it against my hand so after detangling it i'm just going to twist up that side because of shrinkage shrinkage is real if i do not twist up that side it's going to shrink and actually get tangled more so anytime i detangle her hair i just twist it in sections i also detangle in sections so after detangling each section i just go ahead and twist it and move over to the next This is the shampoo I'm going to be using for her hair. It's the Shea Moisture Shampoo for Kids. And then the protein treatment I'm going to be using on her hair is this Apple G protein treatment. I'll talk about it in a different video. But the reason why I go for it instead of making my own is because it doesn't have residue and it just works really fast and really well. So yeah, you can actually make yours at home. I'm going to do a video where I show you a homemade recipe for protein treatment so now her hair has been put in sections so let's proceed to wash her hair so i just put this scalp that i got from amazon as well i'm going to leave a link to all these products in the description box so that you can get them and use them for your kids as well so yeah i do not take down the twist when i want to wash her hair i actually wash them in twist okay sometimes i wash them in sections and i also wash my kids hair once 
I mean, I don't go in with a shampoo for the second time because I feel like it strips the hair too much. So I just go in once and concentrate on their scalp. And after that, I rinse off the products from their hair and I release the twist as well. Okay. So to dry her hair, I'm going to be using this microfiber towel that I got on AliExpress years ago. But I'm going to look for something similar on Amazon and leave the link in the description box yeah so let's go in with the protein treatment it's quite liquidy so you have to be really careful when you're making the hair i actually love doing it when i just finish washing her hair so that after that she can have her bath and just wash it off her skin but yeah so i'm just going in with the protein treatment in her hair and i'm making sure i work it through her hair really well so on the instructions it says you can use a blow dryer on warm air or something like that but i just use cold air like there's no heat whatsoever on this blow dryer you're not supposed to cover the hair with a cap or anything like that just make sure you go through the instructions on the body of the product before you use it okay but yeah i'm just going to let her hair dry just the way it is when it dries it makes the hair really hard make sure you do not comb the hair while it is dry yeah i also rubbed the product on her edges because i realized that the cap that i used to protect her face was covering her edges so i'm not sure products touch her edges well so after she had played for a while the hair was really dry so i went ahead and rinsed the hair with just clean water i rinsed the product of her hair and now we are back to styling yeah after washing her hair i don't want to put too many products in her hair so i'm just going to go in with this aunt jackie's kids baby curls i've used this product for years as well i used it for all my kids since they were babies i love the way it smells i love the way it feels so i'm just going to distribute these products around her hair and that's it like i said i don't want to put too many products in her hair because i'm going to be taking down this hairstyle and i'm also going to wash her hair sometime during this week okay so after distributing the products around her hair i go in to style her hair with this metal tail comb so to keep her hair sleek i use shine and jam um i don't i love it it doesn't hold hair for so long which is why i actually love it it doesn't hold the hair for so long so i'm sure it's not going to cut her hair her hair still feels moisturized and it holds her hair for as long as i want it which is just for the party okay after that the hair can be scattered i don't really care um yeah but it actually lasted past the party i think it lasted for like two days before it started bringing out flyaways but yeah i love putting it at patterns because it helps me make really nice straight clean patterns especially on natural hair so i'm just going to section the hair i'm doing a very pretty hairstyle which is also very simple basically just putting her hair in little twists and connecting the twist you guys are going to see how it is this video is not a hairstyling video but i'm sure from the video you can actually tell how i made the hairstyle but if you want more videos on detailed hairstyles for kids with different textures natural hair text lax hair baby hair then just subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section that you want to see more hairstyles and i'll do well to make more videos because i make my kids hair myself i make it almost every weekend so i have enough hairstyles to show you guys and i go for very simple hairstyles i'm not someone that wants to do complicated hairstyles i don't really do extensions i don't really do too many products as well i just go for simple products and simple hairstyles that make my kids look beautiful while still making them look like kids okay discussion for another day but i really don't like hairstyles that make my kids look not like kids okay this girl is so beautiful ah see this, see, just look at this child just just look at her she's so beautiful skin on fleek hair on fleek look at this the little rubbers i use for this hairstyle i got them on amazon i got a pack of 100 or so or 500 i've forgotten how many pieces were inside you know the container but i got one container and i have been using it for months and i also cut off these rubber bands when i'm done i don't try to remove them i just cut them and you know remove them from the hair completely the reason why i go for these rubber bands is because they don't cut your kids hair um they are very very smooth and you know instead of your kids hair to cut the rubber bands are going to cut so that's why i go for them they are also very colorful very easy to use them and make beautiful hairstyles for your kids so i go for them okay so just check the description box if you want colorful um, rubber bands like this okay
yeah so i'm just releasing the twist this part is supposed to be the puff but i put it in twist so that it doesn't shrink before you know we're ready to go you guys know how natural hair does especially when wet natural hair tends to shrink a lot and i want her to have a nice little puff so that is why i left the hair in twist and now i'm taking down the twist okay don't see yourself in the mirror okay here you think wow you like it mm -hmm. yeah look around your hair you like it wow. I can <laughs> yeah you look at the back later okay i'll snap the back and send to you but you look very beautiful right so yeah, that is for her hair. We're ready to go for the party. I really like how her hair turned out, but I especially like the protein treatment I did on it. The hair is way stronger than it was this morning. I don't even know why I've not done this treatment in a while, but I'm happy I did it today. Do you like your hair? You're going to go and show everybody your hair, right? Yes. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to be seeing more videos like this. I'm going to keep making hair videos, you know, show you how I grow their hair, show you, you know, different textures because Cora, have, my first daughter, she has textless hair. While this is natural hair, so I'll show you the best of both worlds, okay? And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye guys! Say bye! Bye! <laughs>